What's up guys? So, 666, 666 subs. I'm not a religious man, but I find that hilarious, 666. Mark of the devil. So anyways, what can I talk about when I have 666? Okay, I already fucked that joke up. 666 subscribers already. What can I talk about? Well, my medical update of what's going to be happening down the road soon. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to be gone for a while. For those of you who care, I'm going for a defibrillator procedure. Yes, I have a defibrillator in me. It helps out my heart because I have a heart condition that I kind of haven't explained yet, but I will later on in a future video down the road about my life and what I've gone through. It's quite a ride if you guys want to hear about it. But anyway, this defibrillator helps out my heart because it's like not working that well. But hell, I've been having that since I was born because I was born with it. And it's not because of a big fat guy. Well, a little bit does a little bit of that constitutes with that too. But yeah, I was born with a medical condition which helped fucks up my heart a bit. And for those people who I grew up in high school during gym class, now they know why I never ran the full amount of laps during that time. Because I couldn't do it all the time. But anyways, going back to what I was saying, the fruit blader. I have a defibrillator place right here. And I only have two leads. So anyway, I have to go in to get a third lead in. They already done this twice on me going through the arm, and both have failed twice. One time I landed in the ICU. I can't remember why, because I think I passed out, and the next thing I know I was in ICU. Apparently my veins are too small for the leads to go in. So what are they planning to do? It's to go through my side ribs, open up my left or right side rib spreader, and put a lead in through the stomach way up to the pacemaker. Plus, they gotta replace the battery since the battery's about to die anyway. Because I gotta replace the battery every nine years. So, with this new procedure, the new way they're going in, I will be in the hospital for four days recovery. And then two months recovery. Which kind of sucks because I don't think I will be able to make the ex Nintendo Expo year four this year even though I bought my tickets way in advance. But hey, they called me up and said, we gotta do this. So I guess I kinda wasted money, but if I can get healed before then, that'd be great. But if not, I don't wanna walk around in a full place of people and my arm is sore as fuck and running into people, it's gonna be a pain in the ass in my arm because it's the arm area and also my ribs right here. So I gone through the procedure of the arm way and like a friend of mine forgot that I had a procedure so he goes like, hey, how's it going? And slaps me right in the arm. And I was in fucking pain for the rest of the day. But yeah, imagine that going through a bunch of people walking in a crowded area. So like I said, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be fully healed before then. But I'm going to try to see if I can make it to the Edmonton Expo year four this year. Because I've been going the last past three years. And it's always been fun. Either that, or I go and not go for the whole day and just show up for part of the time. Avoiding massive lineups. But yeah, that's my medical update for now. If you guys want to learn more, know more about what's going on, feel free to ask me. Anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. See you next time, whenever that is. Well, I'm going to be making more videos until bef before I actually go in, but after that... I don't know how long it'll be gone. But like I said, for those of you who care, I'm just doing it for the people who actually want to know what's going on. All right, take it easy, human relation. Bye.